Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am so excited, so, so excited because I finally got my hands on the Chanel Le Beige collection. Today, May 2nd, is the official release here in Canada. I have been waiting so impatiently for weeks or months, it feels like, but I finally have the Le Beige collection here. So we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to unbox this. I went ahead and went to Carrefour Laval to see Miriam, my Chanel advisor, because I see Miriam downtown, but then she moved locations. And then I was trying out a different store, which was more convenient to me, but it was just not the same. So the location where she is now, Carrefour Laval, it's like, it's doable, but it's not the most convenient for me at the moment. But I went ahead and went to see her. She gave me a facial. We went for lunch and then she showed me the Le Beige collection. So yeah, I'm sticking with Miriam. She's fantastic. So she went ahead and gave me this lovely package here. So I'll go ahead and unbox it with you guys right now. So here we have our lovely Chanel box, the black and white. It's pretty um, iconic. So let's go ahead and open this up. Hopefully it doesn't all fall out. It hasn't happened yet, knock on wood, but you know, we never know. So here is the lovely packaging. Let's go ahead and see what she packed inside. So the first thing that I see is the new Chanel Chance Eau Tendre, but the Eau de Parfum, because the classic Chance Eau Tendre is Eau de Toilette. But then they came out with the Eau de Parfum this season and she gave me several samples here, which is exciting because this means that I can do a full review on this perfume here. Let me know if you've tried the new Eau de Parfum version of Eau Tendre. And then, oh, she also gave me some samples of Coco Mademoiselle Parfum Intense. So this is also the new one here. And I love inside here. It's so fun and pretty. So I can do a review on this perfume as well. And then she gave me a sample of the Hydro Beauty Camellia Water Cream. Now, Angela Van Rose was talking about this, so I'm very curious to try this out. This is this lovely sample here. And she also gave me a sample of the Le Blanc Essence Lotion here. I am really excited to test this out because I have seen some pretty great things online about this. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of reviews on Chanel products in the upcoming future. So if you are not already subscribed, I strongly recommend that you do. It felt so nice to go see Miriam again. It felt like seeing like an old friend. If you are in Montreal and you need a Chanel advisor, I will put Miriam's Instagram in my description box. So you can contact her through there. You know what it's like when you find like a sales associate or advisor or whatever you want to call them and you just like click. It's kind of hard to go anywhere else or to go with anyone else. It's kind of, you know, once you have that like relationship with that person, it's not the same when you try to just like go to a different store. You're like, mm, it's not the same thing. Not the same service, you know? Not that, there was, not that there was anything wrong with the other service, it just wasn't like the same as Miriam, so I had to go back. And then Miriam really, really spoiled me. She also gave me this here, which I have no idea what this is. I think it's another pouch. It says Chanel Skincare here. And on the back it says compliments of Chanel Skincare. Okay. Oh wow, it's a really nice pouch here. And on the corner here it says Chanel Skincare. This is just really pretty. And even like, I think there's a little CC on the zipper here. This is really pretty. Thank you, Miriam. These pouches are really great for travel because you can just like stick your makeup or your skincare in here. It is white, so I might put things in Ziploc bags just to make sure it doesn't spill. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be going on another vacation in late summer or early fall. So hopefully I'll be using this to travel with. So the goodies and the samples are always very appreciated, but let's get down to the meat and potatoes of the video, the Le Beige collection. So first thing I picked up is the Le Beige tint here. This is the water fresh tint in medium. So I did test this out in the store and I do think that medium is the right color for me. So this is the packaging here. And inside you have the product and you also get a little brush as well. 
this is what it looks like. This is stunning. Like, oh my goodness. This is beautiful to look at. It looks like the Hydra Beauty Micro Serum with all these little bubbles inside. Like, Chanel, like packaging wise, is beautiful. Oops, I dropped the brush. And then you get a little brush here to apply the foundation. It feels similar to the, um, Oh, I was gonna say it feels similar to the Sublimage brush, but I don't think it, it, well, it's similar softness, but the bristles are much more dense and short in the Le Beige um, tint foundation here compared to the Sublimage. And on the bottom as well, it says CC, of course. And then I did pick up the Le Beige Healthy Glow Sheer Powder number 20 in the exclusive creation. So it has the Chanel signature right here. Again, this is the packaging. We have our little lovely pouch. And then underneath the brush, we have the product with the Chanel signature. Now, there are several shades to choose from, from the Le Beige Compact. I wanted something that was like a universal, not a universal, but just like, something that I could use as a setting powder. Even though it's a pressed powder, I wanted something that I could just swipe all over my face. I wasn't looking for something in particular as a bronzing powder at the moment, but I have used darker um, colors from the Chanel Le Beige. I have the 50 right now that I use as a bronzer, but I wanted something just like the same skin color as me just to be able to swipe on my face. So that's why I got the 20. And now, last but not least, we have Les Beige, the Natural Eyeshadow Collection, Les Indispensables, which basically means like the indispensable, so something that would be essential to you. So for today's video, we're going to focus on the eyeshadow palette Les Indispensables, and I'm going to do another video on complexion. So today's going to be focusing on the eyes, and then the next video will be on the complexion, the water tint foundation, and the Lee Beige as well. Okay, so now comes the part that I'm looking forward to, but also dreading, because as you can see, this palette is so beautiful and crisp and fresh, but I think I need to do some swatches and then an eyeshadow look. So. Let's just take a moment to just appreciate the beauty one last second before we dig in. So I think I'm gonna go by trio. So I'll do one trio here, the middle one, and then the one over here. Now these do have different textures and finishes. So I will let you know as we go. So the first shadow here on the top feels like a cream texture. It reminds me of the palette that came with spring this year. So here are the three swatches. So you have one more warm tone neutral that looks almost orangish, and then more of a brown neutral, and then a light shimmer color. I would say that the more orangey brown is, that's the one that has the cream texture. It feels wonderful. I'm hoping that more of the shadows have that texture because in the spring palette that came out this year, the nine shadow palette, that one had three cream texture ones and I really like that. So let's go ahead and swatch the middle shades. Okay, so the next three are the middle shades here. Now the matte color in the palette looked a bit more cool toned, but then on the back of my hand, it looks a bit more of a taupey neutral color. And then you have the two shimmer colors. They're really pretty. I love that silver one. So anyway, they're just really nice. And so far just to the touch, they are really nice and easy to blend. And let's swatch the last three. Now, these last three are 100% my jam. I could see myself wearing these three colors all day, every day, any occasion. They feel very creamy and easy to blend, easy to swatch. They are super opaque. I love how much of a difference and variation there is in this palette. I love that you have some more neutrals, some more taupey, and then some darker colors. I'm very excited. And that gold shade, ugh, I'm so excited. So. If you guys are not aware, when I get a collection, any collection, I always do several different looks with the same collection. So with this palette here, 
I will be doing several different looks. With the Chanel 9 Shadow Palette that came out this year, I did several different looks. With the one last year, I did the same thing. So if you are not subscribed, I highly recommend that you do, just so you don't miss out on different tutorials. And if you have certain colors, certain looks in mind, please do not hesitate to let me know down in the comments what you want to see. So I have like all my swatches here on the back of my hand. I'm like, hmm, which color should I go into? So I think I will start by going into this color over here. And I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna put this in my crease as a transition shade. So when I was speaking to Miriam, she was saying that practically every single palette like this at her counter is already reserved to be sold today or over the weekend so if you want to get this palette i highly recommend that you not wait on it because i think it's an, a really hot item that a lot of people are going to buy so if it's something that you want i wouldn't hesitate on it so i'm going pretty liberally around the lid here it's really just to act as a transition shade for later i feel like doing something Fun. I don't know. I'm going to go into this darker color here and I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to pack this on the mobile lid and then I'm going to buff it out. For those of you who are going to ask, this is the Chanel Definer Smudger Dual Sided Shadow Brush. I will put a link to it in the description box. I like it. I heard some comments or some reviews that were so-so, but I've owned this for several months now. I've been using it almost every day and it's held up really nicely. So I'm just placing this on the lid here and then we're gonna blend this up a bit higher after. Now going back into the same shade with a more angled brush here, we're just gonna blend this up. Basically I wanna be able to see this dark color when my eyes are open. And then taking that big fluffy brush from before and just blending that out. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to take the more tapered end of this brush and using that same color, I'm going to trace it under the bottom lashes here. I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup and come right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eye. I just want to make sure that I didn't erase any of the dark shadow with concealer or foundation. So I'm just going to go back in here with the same brush as before. And I went ahead and edited out like the longer parts, but basically what I kept doing was just like packing more dark color, blending it out either with this brush here and then eventually with this one here. I usually edit that part out because it's kind of tedious to watch, but just so you know at home, it probably will take you a little bit longer than five minutes or whatever, uh, however long this video is. I just feel like the need to like let people know that because like a lot of this is like movie magic and it's not, you know, always real life. And let's take a little bit of that color again and just trace it a bit more here. Now I'm gonna go into this first color here with a little tapered pencil brush here, and I'm gonna place this in the inner corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with some mascara. I'm using the Volume Revolution de Chanel. I'm gonna put on a lot of mascara. Okay, so to finish off the look, I'm going to go ahead and use this Rouge Coco Flash number 82, Live or Live. I still haven't figured it out, but basically, it's the perfect nude. I think this is probably my favorite lipstick of the year, which is funny because I'm always saying that I don't love nude lipsticks, and yet here I am. Okay, that about does it for today's video. This is look number one with Les Indispensables right here. This is the new Chanel 9 Shadow Palette for the Le Beige collection. And as I mentioned earlier, I will do a full video dedicated to the Le Beige water tint here. I put a little bit of eyeshadow on the packaging, oops, on the Le Beige water tint foundation and the powder right here. This will be in the upcoming videos. So yeah, I really, really love this palette. I mean, I kind of knew that I would. I've really been wanting to get this for a long time. The product, like the powders, the the textures of the eyeshadows are really nice. They are a dream to work with. They blend very easily. They are true to color. Um, there was no difference in swatching and wearing, and even just like in the pan and on like the back of my hand, they look true to color. 
I think this palette is phenomenal. Like, honestly, if you want to get this palette, I say run, not walk, because I think this is an item that's going to sell out really, really fast. If you want this, go get it. Um, if you, I think this might be very popular for a lot of different clients because I know that Chanel has been coming out with these like big nine shadow palettes recently. And the one that came out last year, um, the nine shadow palette was definitely more flashy, a lot of greens and turquoises. This year they had a red and a blue and like a bit more wearable I found. Uh, but this one is 100% wearable. It's all neutrals you have a bit more cool tone more warm tone you have mattes you have shimmers you have different textures you have cream you have powder you have everything this palette i think is phenomenal again it's called the indispensables so i think it truly is indispensable i absolutely love this palette i cannot wait to create more looks for you guys so do not hesitate to leave me a comment down below letting me know what combination or a certain look you want to see i will be happy to do it so that about does it for today's video on the Le Beige collection. Let me know what you think of today's video. Let me know if you've picked up the collection or if you're planning on it. If you are, again, with this palette, you might want to call ahead and reserve it because I think it's going to sell it very fast. But that's all I have for you guys for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys have a fabulous day. And that's all I have for you guys. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.